Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting the digital signature for this file couldn't be verified, error code 0xc000428. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial, or relatively quick tutorial, and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is download a bootable Windows 10 copy onto our computer and we're going to have to boot our computer from it. So there's a Windows 10 media creation utility that is offered from Microsoft. If you're unaware of the utility, you're more than welcome to check out my numerous videos I've made on the subject before. And I will likely have a link in my video description that will link you to one of those videos. And basically you're going to want to boot your computer from a USB or DVD. And in this tutorial I've already burned uh, Windows 10 to a DVD so I'm going to boot my computer from the CD-ROM drive and it might look a little bit different from you guys' perspective but basically you want to get to the boot menu when your computer is turning on so depending on your computer's manufacturer the key you press might be a little bit different in my case I was tapping on the escape key but it could also be the F2 or F8 key I'd recommend going on Google and looking up how to access the boot menu if you're unsure of how to do it. And you can also go through the BIOS settings if you're more familiar with that. And then change the boot order to CD ahead of your main hard drive. That way your computer will attempt to boot off of the CD or DVD first. And enough with that, that's a little bit of the backstory on how we get to this critical part of the video. So for the boot menu, I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down until I have the CD-ROM drive selected and there should be a white text color change when I have that selection selected. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to select that. And now press any key to boot from the CD or DVD, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so basically none of this really matters too much, but we're going to select next anyway. And now at the bottom left, you want to select repair your computer. So left click on that. And now underneath choose an option, left click on this troubleshoot tile, it should be the second one down. It says reset your PC or see advanced options. So again, left click on that. And now you want to select command prompt, this command prompt tile that says use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. Left click on that. So now for sources, you want to type in whichever drive Windows is installed on. So I'd recommend that you guys try the C drive first. And if this one does not work, or if you already know what your main drive that Windows is installed on, you're just going to replace the C in this tutorial with whatever your drive letter is. So most people, like I said, should be the C drive. So I'm going to do a C colon. So C with the two little dots after that. No spaces, please note. Make sure it appears exactly how it does on my screen. Then you're going to hit enter. And if you do not get to this next step, then obviously you do not have a C drive on your computer. So once you've done that, you want to type in CD space boot. So again, CD boot, and there should be a space in between the CD and the boot. Then you want to hit enter. And there we go, guys. Now we are going to type in A-T-T-R-I-B space B, C, D, another space. And now you're going to do what I would describe as a minus sign. So a small little dash, almost like a minus sign. And then S, space, another minus sign, H, and then one more minus sign, and then the letter R. So it should read A, T, T, R, I, B, space, B, C, D, space, minus S, space, minus H, and then another space minus R and then once you've done that you want to hit enter on your keyboard and now that you've done that this is going to be really important you want to type in boot so B O O T R E C space forward slash rebuild B C D so again boot rec so one word boot rec space then a forward slash rebuild bcd there should not be any spaces in between the forward slash and the rebuild bcd once you have it as it appears on my screen we're going to hit enter on our keyboard 
If you typed it in correctly, it should say scanning all disks for Windows installations. Please wait since this may take a while. Just be patient. This will take a little while. Okay, and once it's done, because I'm in a virtual machine, it's going to say total identified Windows installation zero. And more than likely in your case, it's going to be more than zero. But because I'm in a virtual environment, it's showing up as zero. But hopefully it'll say more than that for you guys. And then once you're done doing that, you want to type in exit, then hit enter. Now when you choose an option, left click on the troubleshoot tile. And now there's other options we can go through here as well. Underneath advanced options, I'd recommend left clicking on the system restore tile. It's going to say choose the target operating system. You want to select Windows 10. If you had any system restore points, they'd be listed in here, and I'd recommend restoring your computer back to an earlier state. However, if you do not have any system restore points, I'd recommend left clicking on the start up repair tile. And then again, choose the target operating system. Select Windows 10. So this will take some time to run, you just want to be patient. So hopefully if it's able to successfully repair your startup, hopefully your computer will be able to restart okay. And that should be about it, guys. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.